Hey guys, uh, back in town from my uh, trip. <clears throat> uh, the uh, estate sales and uh, auctions have been pretty limited the last week or so. I did uh, pick up a few things in Florida and I went to a, an estate auction here. I uh, found a few things, uh, not a lot of great stuff out there, but uh, surprisingly I think what I'm going to show you I spent less than uh forty dollars on it's around forty dollars and believe it or not what I'm gonna show you guys uh, should bring back uh, five hundred so uh, I guess I'll go with the fines in Florida I went to a wedding in Florida and uh, so I went to a couple of state sales and I was kinda limited on the stuff I could bring back had to fit in a suit suitcase so I looked for smalls and there wasn't a lot of stuff there, but I did come across a couple things. Uh, I've told you guys about these. Uh, this was there on a Gillette uh, adjustable razor. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for this, and this is probably worth 20 to 30 And these were in a bag. Uh, these were $3 for all of them. Even these, uh, they're called, I think, Atrias, Atras or Ultras, something like that. Uh, they have the aluminum handles. These are like from the late 70s, early 80s. And these are also pretty desirable. And uh, I think this group of four should bring around $40. So a total of uh, $4 spent should bring back uh, maybe 60 bucks just on that. Uh, there's a couple ladies watches I found at another estate sale. I've told you guys uh, before about ladies watches. Uh, I don't really buy a lot of ladies watches. There's a few styles I look for and this is one of them. This is a, uh, a Seiko Quartz but it's the moon phase. So as the dial, uh, the hands go around, the moon uh, shows up. And uh, I paid four dollars for this and I've already sold it on eBay for 55. So I listed it for uh, 49.95 or best offer and somebody offered to buy it now for 55. So uh, I sold that within a day. So $4 into $55 on that one. Another good watch uh, for you guys to look out for is a Swatch. And this is a Swatch. This is actually a newer model. This is from 2004. But this is also a $4 watch. And uh, I listed this a couple days ago. It has a watcher. So I'm expecting this one to sell for between $20 and probably $35. So I put a new battery in, it is running. So be on the lookout for swatches. You can find these at thrift stores still. And generally, if they're in good condition, they work. Uh, you can get at least $20 a piece for them. This was another uh, thrift store find I actually found today. This was $2.99 at a thrift store. And this is actually a uh, an older one, probably from the mid-80s. So... Uh, has a kind of unique dial there with the day and the date. Uh, I expect this to sell for between $25 and $40. I've also told you guys about this brand, uh, Clissy, and I actually just found this at a thrift store today. And the reason you want to look for these is you can see it says Sterling Silver. And this was at a kind of an expensive thrift store. It's a Salvation Army that they tend to jack up their prices. They're probably the most expensive thrift store in my area. Uh, a lot of their stuff is almost at retail prices. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so their watches are higher than a normal thrift store. So this was just in the uh, bag of, uh, or the uh, container. They have probably 30, 40 watches in them. And I ended up picking this one out, uh, $4.99. But like I said, it says, uh, uh, sterling silver so this brand all their watches are sterling silver and you can tell not sure if it'll show up on camera if it's this side or the other side but the entire bracelet is sterling silver so you can see the uh, 925 so it is uh, it is pretty heavy and uh, I'll put a new battery in I'm not sure if I have the size that will fit this but uh, this watch should bring probably 30 to $50. Again, this was uh, $5.
So the next uh, group I found at a an estate auction, uh, I think two nights ago, and uh, not a lot of stuff there that uh, I was interested in. Uh, but I did pick up these couple things, some new old stock uh, micro machines. These are from 2003. Uh, paid a dollar per car or per per package. And I've already put these on eBay as a lot for $49.95 or best offer. So I should get at least 40 bucks for the group there. And the dolls, uh, they had a whole room of dolls. And uh, end up uh, picking these up for $5 per box. So I have an Aubrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Elizabeth Taylor, Father of the Bride, and like I said, these are all new, sealed, and packaged. And some Taylor Swifts. Again, new, sealed, in the package. Uh, it looks like the bottom ones sell for between now uh, seventy and forty dollars each. And the Taylor Swifts, uh, upwards of close to a hundred each, uh, between I'd say a hundred and sixty dollars a piece. And then there's only one mug there. Uh, generally, if you guys find these, uh, these Budweiser mugs aren't really valuable. Uh, there, was, there is one mug that is uh, the most valuable, and it's this one right here. This is uh, from 1981. And it's the woodland scene. So I ended up paying uh, $10 for this. Uh, so this mug you do want to look for. It's the woodland scene, and that's the bottom there. And most of these mugs only are worth, you know, five, ten bucks a piece. But uh, surprisingly, this one should bring between fifty and eighty dollars uh, just for this one. So it is in really nice condition, no cracks or chips or anything. So again, I paid ten dollars for that. <coughs> so these are my uh, pickups. Uh, this time of year, I, you know, really slows down, so really don't come across a lot of stuff. But uh, Still a pretty nice uh, finds uh, for the past week. You know, I only spent forty dollars and uh, probably end up close to five hundred for this stuff. Again, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.